Jones said, Jones said, he's on the side one. Jones said his skin is black upon him. He wrote the book of Job through the spirit of God. You understand that? Don't, don't let nobody tell you that the white man wrote this book. Job is a black man. Christ is a black man. Solomon was king over all Israel. He ruled all the earth at one point. Let's see what color King Solomon was. We're going to get into some prophecies that's happening into the earth right now and the destruction that's coming to America. And if y'all don't get yourself right, y'all are going to be destroyed. Bring it Period. out. Period. We ain't playing out here. The Lord ain't playing. It's time to get our minds right. Stop smoking weed. Stop smoking cigarettes. Stop selling drugs to your people. You women, stop prostituting yourself. You men, stop sleeping with these women and not taking care of your kids. Bring it out. Bring it out. This is what's destroying us as a nation. How the hell are we going to build as a nation and everybody want to go against what God tells us to do to become a nation? Bring it out. You being lesbians, homosexuals, all of that is destroying our people. Point blank, period. And we're going to read it out of the Bible. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemy. Because we broke God's commandments, he said you're going to be slaves to your enemies. You're going to be slaves to your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against us. Who sent him against us? Which the Lord shall send against us. So the white man didn't just come against us on his own. It wasn't him just having almighty power on his own. The Bible says the Lord was going to send him against us. The Lord sent the white man against us. The Lord sent the conquistadors against you so-called Hispanics. To destroy us because we don't want to obey this Bible. God is a black man. Moses is a black man. Jesus the Christ is a black man. And that's in the Bible. So we don't want to hear that white man wrote nothing. You can't even prove the white man wrote the Bible. You ain't even read the damn Bible. But the white man wrote the Bible. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee and hung. So for our food, guess who we went to for food? In slavery, the white man had to feed us. We went to them for food and slavery. Guess who we going to food to, to uh, for food today? The white man. Who owned all the grocery stores in our community? The white man. So when we want food, we got to go to them. Read. And in thirst, when we want something to drink, do we own any water reservoirs? No, if you get, if you catch rain falling out the sky and you get caught, you're going to jail. Bring it up. So we got to go to the white man for water, for something to drink, because we broke the commandments. Come on. And in nakedness. Come on. And in want of all things. God says whatever you want, you're going to go to the other nations for it. Food, clothes, water. Where you get your birth certificate from? Who give it to you? Do you get it from a black man? You sure got it from the white man. Guess what, when you want a state ID, who you get it from? If you want a student loan, who bank you going to? Bring it out! We in slavery! You are not free, black man. I don't care how rich you be. We still in captivity because all the things we naming, we still gotta get it from the other nations. Come on. And in nakedness, and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. It says, and he shall put a yoke of iron. Look at the flyers, brothers and sisters. It says, he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Upon your neck. That's on the front of the flyer. Right in the front of the flyer, you see a shackle and chain. It says, he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until he have destroyed. Until we are destroyed as a people. You know when he took those eyes off our neck, Tim? When we thought we was black people. Guess what? He said, you know what? You're not an Israelite. Remember, uh, what's his name? Toby. Kuta Kite. They beat him until he changed his name to Toby. How you doing, brother? He ain't no Jesus but the black man. Oh, hey, come here. What's your name? Mark? Denard? Bernard. I got you, Bernard. So the Bible says that the white man was going to take the yokes of iron off our neck until we was destroyed. You know how destroyed we is? We, we, we heard that the Bible was written by the white man and we never picked it up to read it for ourselves to see if it's true. Exactly. But now we know how to read and guess what we 
still said, I don't want to read that damn Bible. That's what right there. The right there about that book. That's how we sell. Stupid. Because we never picked the book up to read it. We took the yokes of Adam off our necks and now we are destroyed. Now we think we black, African American, niggas, Negroes, our women walking around here prostituting themselves, our men having kids, not taking care of them. We destroyed smoking weed, smoking crack, too dope. And we know these things destroy us, but we still don't want to let it go. We still don't want to let it go as a people. The Bible says he's going to take those yokes of iron off our necks until we are destroyed as a people. We have been destroyed. Give me that in Revelations. I'm going to prove to y'all that the people that wrote this book look just like you. And I'm going to teach you God's law so we can come back to this Bible and get out of the captivity that we are in. When Christ returns, he's going to give us back rulership on this earth. He's the one that allowed the white man to put us in slavery. Read that. The book of Revelation. But no, this is for you, brother. You thought Jesus Christ was a white man? Hey, hold on right here. You thought Jesus Christ was a white man, right? Let's see what color Christ is. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. You know what revelation means? What it means? It means to reveal. It says the revelation of Jesus Christ or the revealing of Jesus Christ. So the Bible is going to reveal to us what Christ looked like. You understand? 14. Verse 14, his head and his hair were white like wool. So the Bible says that Jesus Christ, the hair on his head and the hair on his face, it was white and woolly. Let me get over here. So the Bible says that Christ, the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white and woolly. Bernard, which one of these got white and woolly? You know what woolly hair is? What people got woolly hair? Who? Black people. Read that part again. His head and his hair were white like wool. But on, pay attention. Look at this image, because this is the image that you thought Christ looked like, right? You thought this was Jesus. We've been taught this all our life, right? But we're reading the revelations, the revealing of Christ. The Bible says the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white and woolly. What people got woolly hair again, Bernard? Black people. Do this look like he got woolly hair? Nope. No, he do not. But do this look like he got woolly hair? Yeah. White and woolly, what we call gray today. Read. Look at his head. Look at him. White and woolly. That's woolly hair right there. The hair of his head was white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So they say Christ's eyes was as a flame of fire. You know why it says that? You know why it says eyes was as a flame of fire? What was Christ's first miracle? He turned what? Water into wine. So Christ drank wine. And when you drink wine, the whites in your eyes turn red, right? He wasn't a drunker because Christ kept God's commandments. But Christ drank wine in moderation. So it turns the whites of his eyes red. Which one of these, Bernard, got red eyes? This one. So this strike two for this one. And this check two for this one. Read. And his feet like unto fine bread. So John looked down at Christ's feet, because when you read up verse 10 down, Christ had on the garment down to his foot. So John looked down at Christ's foot. He said his feet is like fine grass. What color is grass, Bernard? What? Grass. Grass. Not grass, but grass for the feet. Brown. You, you agree? So he looked at his feet. He said his feet is like fine grass. So if I look at your feet and I say, man, that brother got brown feet, the rest of your body is going to be what? You ever seen somebody with brown feet in the sun? Is the rest of the body white? No. Now remember, Christ got on the garment down to the foot. He said, he looked at his feet, he said, and his feet was like fine grass, as if they burned in a furnace. So if you take anything and you burn it in the furnace, what color would it turn? Black. Black. So what color is Jesus? Black, he's a black man. You understand? I got some more for you. Wait a minute. I got some else. Let me show you something. Let me John 30 and 30 real quick. John chapter 30, verse 30. Bring it up. John 30 and 30. Watch this, bro. Everybody in this Bible looks like you. The people that wrote the Bible looks like you. Read. The book of John, chapter 30, and verse 30. My skin, my skin is black upon me. You heard what John said? Job said, he's on the side of the one. Job said his skin is black upon him. He wrote the book of Job through the spirit of God. You understand that? 
don't, don't let nobody tell you that the white man wrote this book. Job is a black man. Christ is a black man. Solomon was king over all Israel. He ruled all the earth at one point. Yes, Let's Christ. see what color King Solomon was. Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Verse 1, the song of songs, which is sung. So Solomon wrote this book. Solomon wrote four books in the Bible. Solomon wrote four books in the Bible. King David was his father. Read. Verse 5, I am blood. What did Solomon say? I am blood. Solomon said, I am black. You understand that, brother? He wrote four books in the Bible. Christ come out of the lineage of King David and King Solomon. Black man in his Bible. You understand, bro? This is sure history. That's right. We read that we went into slavery on ships, right? We read that we was gonna have yokes of iron on our necks, correct? Did that happen to us? But we read that the people that wrote this book looked like us. Because people say, well, the white man wrote that. The white man didn't write this book. God put these things in here because we broke the commandments and he wants us to learn what to do to come back to rule this earth. You understand that? The judgment that happened, you think God did this to us and he, God is for us and other nations not gonna pay for what they're doing? Right. They're going to pay for what they're doing. You understand that? It's salvation for you, brother. Timothy, salvation is for you. Deliverance is for our people. We the ones that he's saved. Look at what almost happened to that Hispanic sister. She almost got us. Now she put herself in that predicament. And that brother put himself in that predicament. Almost got killed, bro. We get shot down by the other nations. A lot of times it's our fault, but a lot of times they doing it because they want to do it. Because they got the power to do it. And that's documented in the Bible. What you got? Jeremiah? Jeremiah 14. Watch this real quick. So you can hide this in your mind when you go home, sit down and think. Solomon, when you read about Solomon, he was a black man. King David was his father. King Solomon had princes. You know, they always talk about, yeah, we was royalty before we came into slavery, but nobody know where to read that history at. It's right here in this book. It's right here in the Bible. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourning. So the Bible says that the Jews are in mourning. Because guess what, brother? A lot of times when you turn on your TV, or when you look up YouTube, who do you see crying on the, on the TV? Black women, black men. Why? Because we're being killed in the streets by the other nations and by our own people. We're being killed. So the Jews, we are the real Jews. You are a Jew. You are not a black man. You are not a black woman. That was a term that was given to us in slavery. We are the Israelites according to this Bible. So the Jews are in mourning at this time and even right now because the Bible is a constant. These things happen over rotation. It constantly happen to us because we continue to break the commandments. So the Jews are in mourning. Watch this. Listen to it as you walk off. And the gates thereof language. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. Bernard. The Jews are black. The Jews, y'all never heard this ever. You heard that in your church before, sis? Did you ever hear, what color you think the Jews was? Before you just walked up here. But what, what color did you think the Jews was? You thought they was white, huh? What about you, sis? You didn't think anything, but you know about the people that's supposed to be Jews, right? They white, right? They run around saying that they white. The people on the earth right now that's claiming to be Jews are white people. You understand that? But the Bible says that the Jews are black. You understand, sis? Read it again. They are black unto the ground. God says that the Jews are black unto the ground. So when it comes to people running up talking about the white man wrote the book, they did not write this Bible. The black man wrote this book in the spirit of the Lord. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.